Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, we have seen how the concept of interface callback works. But in this video, we will try to improve upon this and come up with a proper way of implementing and calling a callback interface. So instead of using a name like callback interface, we will use a proper name like fragment action listener. You can use anything, whichever makes sense for you. And now our activity will implement fragment action listener. And fragment action listener will be having a method called as on on country selected which is analogous to a callback method and if you observe it has got a argument which is of type string and this is where we will be passing the country that gets selected in the first fragment our activity will be implementing on country selected and in the fragment one when the user selects any one particular country it will be propagated from fragment one to activity and then from activity to fragment two now the question is how we will pass the value from activity to fragment 2. For that, fragment has a method called as set arguments and we will be setting the values into the bundle and passing that bundle to the fragment. And inside the fragment, we can use fragment.get arguments and from the arguments, we can read whatever the value that was passed from the activity to the fragment. Now, we will have a look at the code. This is the same old code base. If you observe, we have a interface called as fragment action listener and then a method called as on country selected i have a public constant here key selected country you will get to know why i would be needing this going back to the countries fragment if you observe i have an instance of fragment action listener and that fragment action listener is set using a method called as set fragment action listener and in the on item click listener i will check if it is not equal to null i will invoke on country selected and pass the selected country value and when this particular method gets invoked it actually will come to the main activities on country selected and inside this particular method i am passing the country that i am receiving as an argument to this particular method called as add country description fragment this is where i am triggering the next fragment i am creating an instance of country description fragment and then before i actually trigger the fragment i am setting the bundle values so i create an instance of bundle i put a key value pair the key here is key selected country which is constant that i had created in fragment action listener and then country name which i received as argument i set that particular bundle as the argument to the country description fragment let's go to country description fragment and see how these values that i am passing from here are being captured there in the on activity created i am getting hold of the bundle using a method called as get arguments that will give me the bundle and this bundle will be containing the key value pair that is key selected country by default if nobody is passing any value i will select india as the default value and then i am just using that particular value that i got from the bundle to set the value here in the country description fragment so let me run this particular code in debug mode so that you can understand how the overall interaction happens so let me run this when i click on any of the value say indonesia you will observe that i am basically selecting the index and based on that i am getting hold of the value which is indonesia and then i just invoke the on country selected callback method that will basically come here in the add country description and you can observe that in the bundle i am adding key selected country equals to indonesia and then i am triggering the fragment and the country description fragment gets triggered and here you can observe that I have a key selected country Indonesia and that is how I caught hold of which particular country was selected and you were able to see the appropriate country's description that is how it works but there is a problem with the way we have written this particular code our code is not generic it is very much specific to the functionality of selecting a country and passing that country from one fragment to another fragment we need to modify our fragment action listener a little bit i have a ready-made code for that we will just switch a branch i have a, another branch called as generic fragment interaction and now you will observe that the fragment action listener has got a method called as on action perform the earlier method of on country selected is gone now it takes a a bundle as the 
argument so with this particular mechanism my activity can handle the action performed pretty easily so what i have to do in my activity is bundle dot get in this will give me what kind of action is being performed and based on that just do a switch and if you observe i am passing the bundle directly to the country description fragment the earlier code of creating the bundle setting the key value pairs is all gone because that is already being done in the country's fragment if you observe i am creating the bundle setting the kind of action that i am performing and the kind of value that i want to pass everything in the bundles main activity will simply just send the bundle that it receives in the on action performed and if you observe from the country description perspective nothing changes let me run this application in the debug mode select usa and if you observe now my bundle contains key selected country usa and action key is equal to 1 when i come to on action performed in the main activity action performed is 1 because that is what was sent as a part of bundle and one i am associating it with action of loading a country description fragment and i just pass the bundle that i received in the on action performed callback and here in the add country description fragment method i just pass the bundle that i received so this basically contains the action and also the country that got selected and in the country description once i get hold of the bundle it contains both the action key and the country selected i am more more interested in the country selected and remaining part of the code pretty much remains the same i prefer this way of writing the fragment interaction so that i don't have to write multiple callback interfaces for performing each and every operation or writing multiple methods in the callback interface and forcing an activity to implement all the methods that are defined in the interface so i hope this helps you to understand how to implement the fragment interaction so with this video we have resolved the riddle of how to make one fragment communicate with another fragment but however when i change the orientation of the device you will observe that the state of the activity is not being maintained suddenly the fragment that was already existed in the screen has been lost and you are seeing some other fragment this is a problem we need to address we shall do that in the next video that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye